Hey everybody, just wanted to come to you really quickly with a video about end of year giving. So as many of you know, I now run a, an arts organization, a black arts organization, and so I wanted to talk to you about black arts organizations and end of year giving very broadly. Now I'll get this out of the way quickly by saying that yes, I would love it if you donated to Weeksville and I provided a link either in the description of this video or in, it'll be in the body of the Facebook post when this video appears on Facebook, but um, thank you in advance. But if we're talking about black arts organizations broadly, uh, please know that they have tend to have smaller donor pools and they tend to have donors who give less than their counterparts at white organizations. That's just the way it is. And so as we're getting to the last three days of the year and many of you are starting to think about, ooh, who am I going to give to and, uh, and whatnot, wherefore I would love it if you really took some time to think about black arts organizations. Um, and if you haven't really started thinking about it, I thought I'd provide a couple tips and things that I've learned uh, in my short time uh, at Weeksville and watching end of year campaigns. So the first thing is, one, decide how much you and your family are comfortable giving. Um, you shouldn't give more than you're comfortable giving because then you feel, you know, kind of uncomfortable. You feel, um, you know, some people even feel sort of like resentful that oh, I gave a little bit more than I wanted to. No, seriously, think about what you're comfortable with. And the better thing even is to think about what would you be comfortable committing to for three years? So, you know, if you are going to start giving, you know, what would you be comfortable committing to this year in 2018 and 2019? What that does for um, the organizations that you support is they will be able to see a sort of a dependable uh, donation stream from you. And that's really helpful. Um, the second thing is decide on um, the organizations and um, causes that you want to support. And we know that there are a ton of worthwhile causes. There's a lot of great work being done out there. So, you know, it really takes uh, you putting aside some time to sit down and sort of think about who do you really want to support, whose organizations and, uh, and, and causes really align with, you know, what you want to do. We know that all, all know that money is finite, resources are finite, and you can't give to everyone. Um, but if you are, um, if you do some time to think about it, you will uh, give yourself time to make a list, edit the list, sort of figure out who gets priority and whatnot, and not, you know, trying to make this decision at nine o'clock on uh, December 31st when your friends are coming over to help you celebrate the new year. So, you know, really take some time to think about it. Um, the other myth that I want to uh, burst is no no amount is too small. Um, if you ask anybody at any organization, if you ask James Bartlett at Mokata, Shea Wafer at 651, you ask Sade at National Black Theater, we will all take your five dollars. So no amount is too small. Um, it all ends up adding up. Um, so you can start becoming a supporter of arts and culture and black arts and cultural organizations with a small donation. And over time, hopefully your donation and your support will grow, but please just get started and figure out who you want to give to and how you can support them. If you have 50 bucks to give, you know, divide it among five organizations and give them 10 bucks each. It matters. It really does. Um, if you are stuck for organizations, you know, off the top, I can riff on a few that I think are worthy of your support. Um, if you're into, for example, literary stuff, there's a bunch of great black literary magazines and literary organizations. If you think about uh, Mosaic, if you think about um, African Voices, if you think about Quelly Journal, if you think about Cave Canem Poets, um, if you are into film, I would say definitely check out uh, Curtis John's Luminal Theater. Um, they could use your support. Another uh, 501c3 here in Brooklyn that is bringing um, black film and, and pop-up cinema to the Brooklyn community. Um, if you are thinking about music, you know, my family at the Black Rock Coalition could always use, use your support. 
Um, if you were thinking about theater, I've already mentioned National Black Theater, but there's Classical Theater of Harlem. There is um, uh, the New Black Fest. I mean, there's no shortage of organizations that um, could um, really benefit from your support. There's Studio Museum in Harlem if you're if you're uptown and you just love visual arts. So, I mean, the, it's really up to you guys to think about who you're going to support, but really think about the organizations in your area um, and don't think that just because you see people out and about um, and things seem to be going really well that you know, they're fine. No, I mean, they could really use your support. If they're a nonprofit, they could use your support. And that's the message that I want uh, to bring to you now. So anyway, thank you guys for taking time to watch this. And uh, please think, um, think about who you're going to give and please do support uh, black nonprofits, black arts organizations. Thanks.